Let's get this bad boy installed. Whoa, what in the world is this thing? Hey guys, how's it going? Well, we have a brand new Wi-Fi security camera. This is the Xsense Wi-Fi Outdoor Camera 2K Resolution. So I've been doing a lot of camera reviews and one thing to know is you're going to get the full resolution once you download the footage to the camera. Now if you just stream it, it does upscale the resolution so it's not going to show the full quality. So that's just something that I've noticed while I'm reviewing it. Alright, so this particular model has a 4 megapixel camera, has 2K video resolution, also supports 2.4 5K Wi-Fi network. So this is pretty cool, but what kind of stood out between the other cameras I reviewed is the fact that it has 110 decibel alarm. Also, it's a spotlight, there's two bright LEDs. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this in my garage and replace the standard one, which they have a camera. Uh, I kinda like having a spotlight so I can see at night. So let's check out this Xsense Outdoor Wi-Fi camera. A flappy lid, so very nice packaging. Looks like we got a nice little cable here. Oops, I can get it to open up. Ugh. Okay, I'm having trouble here, come on. Come on, let's open up. Wow, this is probably the world's strongest bag. Let's try this again. Oh, maybe I should just open up this tab. There you go, that works. Whew, get it. Huh, okay. So yes, we do have a little ethernet cable. Have you guys seen this? Yeah, this has been forever since I've seen this. So yes, you can directly connect it to your uh, ethernet port at home, your out router or whatever the case may be. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Looks like we got some mounts. We also have a AC power adapter, like the camera itself. And we got some instruction manuals. Nothing in the box. Get out of the box. So we have the alternate after sales extended warranty. Very nice. And a nice little thank you with the information right there. So I actually like that. So good job, Xsense. We have the little sticker to help position the holes. So it makes the installation really easy. And we got a little warning sticker so you can place that in your window and let people know that you're washing them. And here's the instructions right here. Let's check out the instructions. Yep, so it tells you how to mount everything. Let's get this bad boy installed. Get our studs. So just use your Allen key to adjust the angle of your camera now. Pretty simple. Uh, you got the speaker, looks like we do have a micro SD card slot. So that's where you get your full 2K resolution, it downloads to the micro SD card slot. But when you're streaming, you're not gonna get that full resolution, just due to bandwidth constraints. And just scan the QR code. Cool, so very nice instructions. Now, let's check out the good part, the camera itself. Oh wow, this is a pretty long cable, nothing in there. Get out of there, bummy blocky. All right, so cool, let's see. Ah, not too bad with the sticker thing. Very nice. So look, notice this. You got the two LEDs right there. Looks like we got the motion sensor up here. And we got the camera right there. So this has a 156 degree wide angle lens. And this is your swivel base. And you can mount right there. And it looks like we have a pretty long cable. And we can actually install and direct line if you want right there. So you can hardwire in or you can do Wi-Fi. So I like that option. I've never seen a camera that offers uh, Ethernet port. Okay, so... Underneath the camera, you do have the 110 decibel alarm speaker. It does offer two-way audio, and you have a micro SD card slot. Uh, this is where you charge it via USB-C, it looks like. And we do have a reset button right there, so very cool. All right, let's go and uh, get this guy hooked up to in my garage, and we'll check out the footage, the app, and see what the Xsense S21 camera is all about. So hold on one second. So I got the Xsense primary installed in my garage. I actually find this pretty useful, especially for the motion sensor where I can actually have the spotlight turn on when we uh, enter and exit the garage. Okay, so here's a look at the interface. It's very similar to other security cameras I reviewed. So you do have the option to auto, which actually turns on the infrared lights, but you can also go into the settings and turn on the white lights as well, which are based on a timer, or you can do it based on motion, or you can have them on all the time. So there's a lot of features you can do. You can also turn on the infrared lights and have them based on the timer as well. I'm not sure why you would want to turn off the infrared lights, just leave them on all the time since they're invisible to the naked eye. The application is called X Smart View. You can either download it through the Google Play Store or through the Apple App Store. And if your phone supports the fingerprint scanner, it does support that. Now, I have reviewed a bunch of cameras and this is nothing new, but you can see you have three different toggles. You can talk through the camera. You can also record live footage 
or you can take a snapshot. Now off to the left, you do have like a directional control pad. Hopefully down the road, they'll offer a software version. Unfortunately, this does not have pan and tilt. Okay, so here's a look at the settings here, and up to the top there, you do have an SD card. So once we jump into it, you can see it has to record footage to the camera. Unfortunately, it does not include one out of the box. You do have to buy your own micro SD card, and they're fairly cheap on Amazon. You can get a 32 gigabyte in size for about $8. I believe this camera does support micro SD HD, so yes, you can get up to 2 terabytes in theory. Alright, so you can see that the wife is ready to leave for work. And once she leaves, I am free to go ahead and run this YouTube channel, so make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I do appreciate the motion feature that records directly to the SD card, so I don't have to pay for a monthly subscription. As you can see, the wife is uh, thinking what in the world is going on, why is there so many holes in the wall, but you know, I didn't do it, I promise. Alright, let's run to the settings here. You got your camera device information with all your Mac ID information. Also, you have a bunch of security settings. So yes, you can set up a passcode. You can change the light settings, the infrared settings, also the uh, white light as well. Not sure why you would want to turn off the infrared since it's invisible to the naked eye. You also have smart control. So yes, you can use your uh, favorite smart assistant and uh, give it a clever name. One interesting thing is you can actually have the footage go directly to your Dropbox. So if you have a subscription to the Dropbox application, you can actually store it there, which is kind of cool. A lot of computers can access Dropbox. All right, so that was just a quick look at the settings. You have some additional stuff like Wi-Fi settings. And of course, you have a subscription. But as long as you have a micro SD card slot installed, you don't necessarily need this. But you can see they do offer this feature if you want an online storage option. Okay, I'll give you my final thoughts, and if you're interested in this camera, I'll put the link down below. I think there's a special coupon, so you can save a few bucks. Okay, so for my application, I use this mainly as the spotlight function. I find it works very well, lights up the room very nicely. Well, you can see in the background, I had a battery operated one, but over time, the batteries died. Luckily, this is constantly plugged in. Also, I felt like the interface was pretty good. I like the scrubbing of the timeline, so I can quickly go to different hours of the day and the motion feature works well so if the garage door opens i can see uh, who's entering the garage also i appreciate those multiple storage options you can use the online storage you can use dropbox you can also use your cell phone storage or you can use the micro sd card storage just keep in mind you do have to supply your own micro sd card well thanks so much for watching and stick around i got some new products like some smart projectors so have a great rest of the day adios